Jojo Siwa is headlining the news again and you'll never guess who she's having a beef with. Here's a hint, you have probably seen her on your television screens and someone you wouldn't think would hold such views. What was said that made the industry shocked and repelled to its core? Keep watching and you'll find out. First up, what is Jojo Siwa's deal? When you think of Jojo Siwa, what comes to mind are oversized brows, her iconic side ponytail, sequins, and flashy outfits. But she's much more than that. The ultra hyper her 17-year-old is a sensation. Siwa is an American dancer, singer, and most famously, a YouTuber who got famous when she appeared on Dance Moms with her mother. She gained a major cult following after the release of her first hit single, Boomerang. She was iconic to preteens all over America. Even if you're too old to watch her videos, you can't deny the impact she's had on kids of the generation. She even has her own merchandise selling at Target and Claire that got little girls dressing up as her, the pony ponytail, and the bow and all. More recently, though, Jojo Siwa has become much more of just an entertainer. After coming out as gay to her fans last year, following an Instagram post and a TikTok singing along to Gaga's Born This Way, she's become a source of inspiration for her young fans as well. She says she wants the young girls and boys watching her to know that loving people for who they are is exactly what they should do. No matter who you are, who you love, it's okay. According to The Guardian, Jojo's famous bow symbolizes power, confidence, and believingness. Even though she's gotten tons of negative feedback and hate from parents of teens for seemingly spreading inappropriate behavior, she has not backed down and continues to live her life on her open terms, recording it for her fans to see. Jojo Siwa is a proud member and supporter of the LGBTQ community and does not shy away from it. So when Candace Cameron Bure made some offensive comments directed at the LGBTQ BTQ, Jojo Siwa called her out, saying her comments are nothing more than a straight flush. So what really happened? What did Cameron Bure say that Jojo Siwa had to come out and speak out against? Do the two have a history prior to this? Well, keep watching and you'll get all your answers. And while you're here, hit the bell icon for notifications. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, what's the drama all about? The Fuller House actress said in an interview in the Wall Street Journal that she would not include LG LGBTQ couples in the upcoming Christmas films on her network, Great American Family. She told the journal about her new executive role at the Great American Media. The network will produce a series of Hallmark-style Christmas films which she plans to star in herself. Bure is an American actress, producer, author, and talk show panelist. You will probably remember her from her iconic role-playing DJ Tanner on the hit show Full House and its sequel series, Fuller House. In April 2022, she announced that she would be moving to Great American Family, which is led by a former Hallmark Channel head, Bill Abbott. She would be producing, developing, and starring in romantic comedies and holiday movies. While the idea seems very attractive, I mean, who doesn't love holiday movies, right? We've all grown up on Hallmark, but Bure's recent comments have left a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths. Bure said that the network will keep traditional marriage at its core. Bill Abbott, the chief executive, added that there isn't an adequate amount of spiritual or faith-based content in Hollywood. Even though Abbott did not explicitly rule out LGBTQ titles or representation in the network's movies, his comments did point towards it, and Bure certainly did not shy away from straight up just spelling it out. God, it's 2022, woman. Anyway, talking about the Great American Family Network, she said that she believed the people running it are Christians and want to promote their Christian beliefs. Good American Family is a network to promote faith, programming, and good family entertainment, well, of course, now we know she means that in a very specific way. Shortly after the video started making rounds on the internet for controversial statements, Jojo Siwa took to Instagram to speak up. She said that it's unbelievable that Bure would not only intend on excluding the LGBTQ from her movies, but also publicly talk about it in the press. This is rude and hurtful to a whole community of people, and she's absolutely right. Siwa was not the only celebrity to call Bure out out on her exclusionary comments, GLAAD issued a statement from their president and CEO calling Bure's comments ignorant and calling on production companies to reconsider if they want to be associated with the network that holds such values. She also included an open invitation to Bure to have a conversation about it, as she seems out of touch with an entire community of people. See what was also joined by Hillary Burton, who called both the network and Bure bigoted and disgusting for their anti-LGBT 
LGBTQ comments, saying there is nothing non-traditional about same couples. Oh, but this isn't the first time Siwa and Bure have butted heads in public. Earlier this year, the former Dance Mom star took to TikTok to announce to the world that Bure was the rudest celebrity she's ever met in real life. While Siwa provided no additional context to her comment, Bure went public and said that she talked to Siwa on call to clear things out and found out the incident Siwa was probably referring to in her TikTok. According to Bure, Siwa said that she was talking about when Bure refused used to take a picture with Siwa on the red carpet premiere of Fuller House when Siwa was just 11 years old. While she refused Siwa, she proceeded to take pictures with other people present there. Well, we don't know about you, but that's a pretty crummy thing to do to a literal child. While things got friendly between the two, after that, this recent debacle has got them in the news again, and this time for a much more grave reason. Finally, is this love in the air? On a much lighter note, Jojo Siwa and her girl friend Avery Cyrus are all over the news and now officially TikTok's cutest couple. The relationship timelines are the cutest friends to lovers arch you'll ever see. The couple started out as friends and are now blessing our feeds with cute relationship content, making sure all of us feel really deeply single. Their TikToks give their fans an inside view of their burgeoning romance. The couple didn't publicly declare their romance until September 2022 in a TikTok video. They were seen in the video posing for photos in a photo booth at Chuck E. Cheese, with one photograph featuring a smooch. But who is Avery Cyrus? Avery Cyrus is a TikToker who has roughly 8 million followers to her name. A well-known creator in the LGBTQ community, Cyrus uses her platform to talk about relationships and feelings in addition to fun content like lip sync videos, dance challenges, and more. Before Avery, JoJo dated Kylie Prue in a short-lived summer romance. In an Instagram Live that has since been reposted on TikTok, Kylie revealed that the couple had broken up. JoJo and Avery both moved on from their previous partners pretty quickly, it seems. Avery and fellow TikToker Sof Mosca declared their love in July 2020, which led to a lot of TikToks and social media talk about it, but in early August 2022, the couple announced their separation on their Instagram stories. Five days after announcing her breakup with Soph, Avery shared her first TikTok video with JoJo. They did a mukbang together. We smelled the romance brewing right there and then, following conjecture surrounding their relationship status. JoJo discussed it in an interview with Talent Recap on August 24th. She cleared the air, saying she and Avery are just really good friends. That's right. Jojo, that's what they all say. The couple's relationship was officially announced on September 10th when Jojo shared a TikTok video of Avery and her sharing a kiss at Chuck E. Cheese. The lovebirds continued to be spotted on dates. On September 14th, Avery and Jojo made their formal red carpet debut at Jagged Little Pills premiere. The next day, the couple was spotted on a romantic outing. Avery leaped into Jojo's arms in a cute PDA moment. Then on October 1st, Jojo released a TikTok telling her fans about how Avery proposed to her in Disneyland. How adorable. At the Dance Awards on October 12th, JoJo told E! News about her new girlfriend gushing about how great she is and how perfect they are for each other. For their one-month anniversary in November, Siwa planned something special for Cyrus, a picnic on the beach with a surprise setup. The couple shared a clip of their intimate moment which showed Cyrus's reaction to the surprise and the couple sharing a sweet kiss. Well, that's it for today, folks. Like this video if you enjoyed it, comment down below and let us know how you feel about Beret's comments. Share it with your friends and subscribe to keep coming back for more. We'll see you in the next one with more popping news and stories. Bye-bye.